So Newcastle United take a point here against Bournemouth in another crazy Premier League draw here. It was one of them games where it was set up for Newcastle to get the win, but they couldn't find the breakthrough in the first half. And after the break, Bournemouth looked very fired up in the second half, it has to be said. Um, and they took the lead with a, a mistake, you've got to say, from Dubravka, who'd made two big saves in the first half from Solanke. And then a routine ball's played across to him and, and he slips. Um, no excuses, of course, but uh, the rain was tipping down at the start of the second half. It obviously had affected the surface. Uh, and Dubrovka hadn't really readjusted and, you know, the mistake happened and uh, Newcastle were 1-0 down. They got back into it through a, a long disputed penalty. Uh, VR check went on forever. Uh, Gordon stepped up make it 1-1 and then you thought at that point, you know, we're set up again for this Newcastle win that they need. But, um, you know, slipping behind again with 21 minutes to go with Semenyo uh, released by Solanke down that side and he was able to take five touches, uh, accelerate past Burn, and then just plant it in the bottom corner uh, from the edge of the box and that was 2-1 and then you thought Newcastle were heading for a really disappointing 2-1 home defeat. Substitutes came on, Joe White and Matt Ritchie, the 34 year old who hadn't scored for four years, hadn't scored since 2020, he came on um, and within seconds he got the equaliser to be fair and a brilliant ball whipped in from Bruno Richie won the header the ball bounced back off a defender's calf I think and then Richie just slammed home 2-2 ran over to the corner flag uh, took his frustration out on that and uh, Newcastle pick up a point in the end could they have won it later on well they had a couple of openings but ultimately Bournemouth could have scored again as well Solanke making an unbelievable run down the right. Had he slipped it to two of his, one, one or two of his teammates on the left-hand side, Bournemouth might have been in for a winner. In the end, it ended 2-2. Probably a fair result, but the, not the result Newcastle won. They've lost ground on those above them, uh, but it could have been worse. In the circumstances, it probably feels like a point gained. When you look at the bigger picture, it probably feels like two points dropped. So Newcastle must now move on. Uh, they've got Arsenal away next weekend, then it's the FA Cup at Blackburn. They don't have a strikeout, it was clearly a problem today, not having that reliable source of goals in attack. Uh, we won't see Callum Wilson again for a while. Alexander Isak, we'll have to wait and see if he's going to be back next week. Newcastle need him. They tried everything, they tried Gordon up there, they tried Jacob Murphy up there, it didn't work. And in the end, they're relying on 34-year-old Matt Ritchie to get them the equaliser. That's why, one of the reasons why Eddie Howe you know, rates him so much, not just for the goal, just to be able to put him into a situation like this. And he's going to be calm and he's going to, you know, take his opportunity. So 2-2 it ends here. Newcastle will be disappointed in some ways. Looking at Matt Ritchie's face as he went off, looked pretty, you know, looked like he'd lost the game in, in a way because he probably felt Newcastle could have won it after the equaliser. They still had eight minutes to go. Couldn't take it in stoppage time. Ten minutes of stoppage time. Newcastle take a point here. Uh, and it's probably going to be classed as a disappointing day in many ways. But in other ways, again, fighting spirit, like the Luton game. Um, you know, after Luton, um, they've, they're, on, they're on this unbeaten run still. So they're doing okay, uh, but we all know they can do a lot better.